Righty, oh guys. So we've uh, we've come out to bloody this uh, eucalyptus old distillery thing. The whole idea of this video was to uh, put the the Gunya One tent through its paces in real life. So the first the first issue I see is that you just don't have a lot of room. The vestibule is brilliant, but if you look in there, so any me gear, I have to actually stick it all on where I'm sleeping. At this stage. Not a problem, we'll just see how it goes. So we've got uh, Steve, Ray and Gordon. They've uh, decided to come out. This is part of the uh, the crew, what did I call it? The crew? Um, the Motley. I don't know. <laughs> no, the, on Patreon. Uh, crew Local Rides. Crew Local, crew local, local Rides. Yeah. So I just pasted out there saying I'm, this is what I'm doing. And these guys put their hands up. Yep. And he said, right, eh, I'm going too. So come on, Steve, so let's have a look at your bloody setup. All right. That's that's Nay's Halinox chair. Yeah, which is mostly <laughs> lent for me, and I hope to uh, return it in. The same <laughs> He's sporting the uh, the Tenere. So you got the Tenere 660, and uh, oh, and, and we had the we had the bloody chain break. We did. We Here's some chain. footage of the bloody chain uh, on the side of the road fixing her up. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so it's one broken chain fixing it on the roadside. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, it's going to be famous for <laughs> all the wrong reasons. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, we've all been here, mate, don't worry about it. I can't, uh, I can't be boasting about Tenerates this weekend now, can I? <laughs> but she's all good. Yep, so we've, uh, we, we had a rescue mission, Mark ducked home. Fortunately, we're only a few kilometres from uh, yeah, Man Cave, yeah. so uh, ducked home, grabbed the tools that I should have had on board, but didn't. Uh, oh, we'll right. have next time. Yep. And it showed, me what I, it showed me what I was missing too. Yeah, exactly. We yep. had the chain breaker, but it just couldn't get it over the chain. It wasn't quite big enough. Yep. So anyway, we got it fixed. It's now tight and hopefully it'll hold on for the rest of the weekend. That's it. That's the plan. And you've got a uh, bit of a small... Oh, I reckon I've seen this before, actually. Yeah, I remember I had now. Right. I've had this for about 20 years. It's, uh, yeah. it's actually like a lightweight hiking tent. And uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, but I you keep can... wishing I'd you know, get another one, but it just keeps doing the job. So Yeah, so you have a little bit more room. Actually, yeah. it looks like you've got quite a bit more room than that. Yeah, it's big enough. Yeah. Big enough for one. And you have the vestibule too. Yeah, it's got yeah. enough of a vestibule there. I've uh, cooked in there before. It's yeah. Been, what, you know, wake up and it's raining and you just reach out and make a coffee and, you know, sleep Away you in, go. basically. That's it. So, no, it's good, but, yeah, absolutely nothing wrong with it, but, yeah, you know, you, it's the shiny uh, object syndrome. I, I keep saying yeah, yeah. Tent, so, Well, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right, hey Gordon. So Gordon's on the uh, the Himalayan, or if you're in India, the Himalayan 400. Now this is a setup, guys. This is like this is oh, brilliant. I live for this shit. So you've got Eskies. Uh, yep, Eskies from Bunnings. 20, bu 20 bucks a pop. Your twenty dollar booming carry carry bag from Kmart. Clothes, clothes, clothes horse. Yep, you could put kitchen a table. kitchen table. Yep. What else did we say? I can't remember. No, uh, those clothes, kitchen table is one of the Oh, that, no, that's, that was the other thing was the. Uh, oh, toe. The, the toe strap. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, so you, you got. Uh, Chucked your poly fight. Big fight. All, all, all the sides, so I even put, put my camping chairs and whatnot in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is bought it for a cheap workhorse, basically. Very basic, from an 80s technology. But That's it. Shifter and screwdriver, you can fix it. For an arm, um, what else? I did put the Bark Busters engine guards on and also oh, got the engine yeah. guards, yeah, right. Yep. And I did put your, yeah. your swing arm bags on the front for your drinks and. So, which food. would normally be on a cruiser type bike. Yeah, on the back on the swing would, arm. Yeah, that's it. I was like full for, what, 20, 25 bucks for a pair. Yeah. It's like beauty. Yep. That'll, that'll do it. ripper. I'll get, get us back on the bike and... Yep. Oh, look, you got the Go, GoPro 7 bloody uh, sitting there. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, so <clears> that, <throat> that should work. Nah, so just haven't been on for about 15 years, so I didn't want to get a big boom Tenere or yeah. BMW go, oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's expensive to fix. Now, now your... Beauty. Yeah, so your tent, you, you yep. were saying you were hoping you had all the bits and pieces because it was like 15 yeah. years since you used it. Yeah, so I was, what, 20 years old now? This is a Series 2000, but at the time it was re really good one. But so far it's just all still yeah. in one piece. Plenty yes. of bloody room. Yes, all, all, 
Oh, so it's got yeah, so it's got the yeah, the two. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. You don't have the the, the big booming. The vegetable. Vegetable. Well, actually, pe people saying to me that, uh, well, what were they saying? A way of call, uh, making vestibule sound like vegetable. Because <laughs> <laughs> I say vegetable. <laughs> Righto, now, big Ray with the big tent. Brand spanking new. Actually, this is the one that I did the, uh, the review on. And Ray's a good bloke and he bought that one off me. So, Hauqua 3. And look at this. This is good. Man, it is, isn't it? Look at that. Just like you got <laughs> loads and loads of room. I'll rent your room in there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to. Actually, I could rent some space, like just to put my gear in there. Yeah, bloody <laughs> hell. Keep it dry. <laughs> All right, and now, rocking the, uh, the BMW GS R1200. Yeah. Great um, bike for what they are. Yeah. Well built. You had no problems coming through that crap that we just, we no. come through the back way. I ride it pretty much everywhere I ride my KDM 640, so. Yeah, and you did this, you took this on the ramble. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like this. This is a pretty good setup, actually. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it all turns into tables and. Yeah. If you don't even bring a chair, you can sit on them and. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you know, they're great. Oh, you ripper. Like, I wouldn't actually buy them, but. They're about 3,000 bucks, they reckon. Oh, really? Yeah, it's stupid. So that came with the bike? Yeah, when I bought the bike, yeah. Oh, sweet. It was all on it. Yeah. Only thing it didn't come with was the uh, um, sat nav. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I put tyres on it and radiator guards and changed the sump plug to a magnetic one, changed the pipe, uh, put a DNA air cleaner in it, ram mounts. Um, whole new, this was pretty interesting actually, the yeah. last ramble I done with you. I was in road mode the whole way, because oh. when I was coming to Bendigo, me um, switch bit here all fell to pieces on the inside. Oh, really? And I thought, oh, I should be able to pull this apart in the motel. Yeah. So anyway, I pulled it apart and all bits fell out of it, and I was stuck in road mode, and I couldn't turn traction control off, so everywhere I went, the bike was going blah, 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 blah. Oh. And anyway, $500 later. She's all fixed. It's yeah. fixed. So I went and bought a <laughs> new one. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, they go really well. Righto guys, so uh, we've had a, a bloody such a late start. Uh, so we've I think we've only got, I don't know, no more than two hours riding. An hour and a half, I reckon we've only got about an hour and a half. So we'll uh, jump on the bikes, go through a few of these tracks, come back, and we'll see you at the camp. No, I'll see you on the track. Righto guys. So all we're doing is just uh, bumming around, following our uh, Follow on our nose. Oop. And uh, we'll just uh, see where we end up. I reckon we've only got about an hour of uh, riding before that sun goes down. We might uh, end up uh, testing out how the, uh, the lights are going on everybody's uh, bikes. Tell you what, it's been a perfect day. It's a shame we didn't get out earlier, but oh, it was actually, uh, I think it was educational for uh, for all of us with um, Steve's chain breaking on the uh, on the uh, tenere. little uh, windy tracks not too lumpy bumpy get a bit of bloody speed up I tell you what Ray rides that uh, that BMW he really handles that bike so well being such a big bike Come out somewhere shortly. Oh, there it is. Hey. So we'll run along the uh, along the uh, fence line here for a bit. I'll just get these guys to go in front.
I'll just get you to, to ride along and I'll get from the back and then I'll pass you. So don't go crazy. Because I won't, yeah. So the guys watching, they're going slow for me. <laughs> There's roos along here, and I've just seen a couple. Yeah, I've seen them going up Yeah, they're big buggers. Where are you straight ahead? Just straight ahead. <coughs> Rightio, so I reckon that uh, there must be a chook, chook farm over there. Most probably one of Hazeldean's many places that they have the chooks. Jeez, that bloody uh, sun's a bit glary when it gets down low. I was saying there'll most probably be, uh, be no dust having all the rain. And hello, <laughs> there's heaps of dust. Gordon's on the uh, the Himalayan. It's a great little bloody setup he's got there. Let's see if I can get in front. There we go. Back in. Oh, look out, the big roos on the paddock. There's Steve on the Tenere. Shit balls, what the devil? <laughs> Alright, we'll get the guys to all look out, watch this, watch this bloody bastard. Come on matey, don't you jump. Crazy buggers. there's a uh, turn off somewhere here that me and Alistair did but I can't remember there was one that was a, uh, a dead end and we had to come back out I can't quite remember Definitely had the uh, the rain out here. The tracks are pretty good though. They're a little bit squirmy, but not much. And as I've said before, Camarica is really good because um, you just you can't get yourself into trouble, like too much trouble, as in going down a hill and getting caught somewhere. And because it's all fairly flat, yeah, there's a few ups and downs, but nothing nothing serious. guys I'll uh, catch up with you a bit further on we'll just follow it I have no idea just go for it yeah, you can go righty -o. so yeah I don't know whether I've done done this one just you just see a track off and then you go yep let's have a look let's have a look and see what's down here this might be the one that me and Alistair actually did where it got all tight, really tight, and uh, all the stabby friggin' sticks coming out, so... Oh. We'll see. It, it feels very familiar, actually. <laughs> uh, hopefully nobody gets javelined with a bloody big stick. But this is the... I mean, this is what makes it all interesting, doesn't it? Mixing bloody shit up all the time. Hey. And again, we can't really get lost out here. You know, it's just a big, it's a large square of uh, 
of State Park. So, you yeah, know, head one way and uh, you'll eventually get out. Oh, yep, this, I reckon this is definitely the one that me and Alistair came on. Jeez, it makes it hard to bloody see with that sun. bloody overtaken in this area. <coughs> Holy dooly, where we are. <coughs> Shit. Nice. Getting a bit low. I was actually looking forward to getting out and doing this. So, uh, oh. when we get, when we get uh, back to camp, we'll crank up that bloody fireplace. We've already got uh, plenty of wood. And if we run, if we run, uh, you know, a bit short later on in the night, there's uh, just so much wood just close by. We can grab a bit more to throw on. But I think we should be right with what we got. I've got a steak. I'll be cooking a steak. I had it uh, marinate, soaking in a uh, can of Coke. Well, not in the can of Coke, but uh, put a can of Coke in a container and put the steak in it with uh, onions. They, uh, they come across it somewhere and she gave it a shot. And I tell you what, it really makes the, uh, the, the steak nice and tender, juicy. So uh, I did that last night and I brought that along, so I'll be cooking that up. I've got a tin of whole potatoes, and uh, my idea of that is um, I'm going to finally I like, just cut it up into chips and uh, see if I can fry. Oh, shit, you know what I didn't do? I didn't bring a lot of oil. I've only got my normal amount. But anyway, here, yeah, try and fry up some uh, chips, so steak and chips, and uh, I've got a couple of eggs. Uh, whack some eggs on top of all that. Should be pretty good, hopefully. Whoa! Oh, that's right, I've got to remember to make sure my bloody camera is still on. Yeah, still on there, excellent. Last time, coming through here, uh, yeah, my bloody camera came off. Oh, I got knocked off. But uh, it's always good because I've, I've got the uh, external microphone plugged into it so it's a, like a little tether for it. Oh. Jeez, better start bloody catching up, too busy talking. Oh shit. Don't want to go into a tree mark. The beauty with the, these tracks is that your likeliness of having a bloody roo come out, they're not going to be coming very fast, if at all I reckon on it because the, the uh, shrubbery and stuff's... Whoa, shit, nearly went over. The shrubbery's quite, um, whoop, quite dense. Oh, Patricia, hey! There you go, got a bit of a clearing. <coughs> yeah, go, man. I couldn't believe friggin' Ray did that uh, that wheelie on that bike earlier. He rides it like a friggin' dirt bike. Crazy bastard. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's, she's low. Jeez, he's giving it to I can hear it, he's giving it to it. That's the way, just follow the bloody nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoop! There we go. 
Oh, he set us on a bump. Oh, here we go. around it, miss the corner, go through it. <laughs> tell you, Ray's giving me a bloody run, I'm struggling to keep up with him. I'm using all what bloody skill I got, and he's on a bloody 1200 for Christ's sake. Oh, we've got some bees. I might let Ray go there. <coughs> let him go. And Steve. Get in behind Steve. Just to mix it up a bit, guys. Now, Tenerey. Jesus, I was bloody lucky I had the. Uh, whoa, Jesus, where are we going? Ah, oh, that mucked me up. <laughs> yeah, lucky I had those uh, spare links. For the chain, I've, act I've actually got two of them, so we've still got another one just in case the old Tenere chain gives up. But it was mainly because the, the chain was just so lo uh, so loose, just bloody tore it apart. So there's a good reason to make sure you keep your chain within the uh, tension. I always err on if you're going to err, if you don't get it spot on. It's much better, whoa, it's much better to have it uh, looser rather than tighter. If you've got it tight, you've got your more chance of busting it. Remember, I'm not an expert, that's just what I believe. Oh! Jeez, I tell you what, this is a bloody bit of fun. Oh, come on, Mark, get around. Ay, ay, ay. All right. You crazy bastard! <laughs> oh, oh, geez, that was a nice little bloody track. Bugger! I reckon we need to go back the other way. I reckon we need to go back that other track. Right, hey, Steve, you go. Righto guys, so we're going back, we hit a, uh, a big dirt road and there was another track where we first started off. So now Steve's out in front, we just had uh, Gordon on the Himalayan running out front, so we're just mixing it up, everybody's having a turn out the front. Whoa! And yeah, basically following the nose. Get somewhere, you go, no, nope, bugger it, we'll go back to that other spot. Go and see what's down the other way. The usual shit. That was slodgy. I saw his back wheel go slodgy. Oh, he spots the shit up here. Huh. He start. <laughs> oh, crazy. Uh, so this is where we yeah. So we've come back to here. Follow out this one, see where this one takes us. Righto guys, we'll come back to you later on. You bastards, this bike's going all over the joint. <laughs> all right. So that's twice we've gone over the main road that actually runs right through the middle of this. So we've come back over onto the other side, which is where we're camped. Obviously in a different spot, but just from the side of the main road. Oh. 
we'll see where uh, oh, this track comes. Jeez. Like other bikes have been here. Hopefully it's not ours. We didn't come through here. Jeez, look at all the fucking roos out there. Tons of them. Try and uh, look for a uh, little single track again. Is that a single track? No. Oh. what I think are tracks <laughs> but then I look back and it's not ah. Bit of section there. <coughs> oh, oh. Yeah, it's nice when you get that. See the you get the little twisties, but then you get and you get the burn. That's really nice to ride on like that. Yeah. Come over. See, so always riding on the inside of it. Oh shit. It's a really it's a it's a good feeling. See Ray's right up my friggin' ass because he's loving it, giving it more than what I'm bloody giving it. Hopefully we'll find a uh, little single track and uh, I shall come, oh, get around the corner mark, come back to you. Turned on, guys. Oh. <laughs> I was looking, I was looking elsewhere, and then I spotted that bloody uh, stump. the stump. Bloody <laughs> hell! Hey, it was 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> Righto. Come on, Max. Ah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Right, eh, Max, get us out. Oh. All right, we're out. <laughs> Bloody hell, there you go. First off for the uh, for the day. I think I've got us uh, a little bit lost here, but that's all right. We'll find our way out. Oh, shit. Oh, geez, those stumps come up. Oh, we'll come back to you guys. All yeah, so we got a little bit uh, bush lost. We were on a track and then it just disappeared. We thought, oh, we'll just keep going. It'll bloody come back in. No, it didn't. Luckily, I had the, uh, the GPS. I was able to get just enough reception, but so we ended up just bloody following. So we had to bush bash it. I don't know if you, you can't see that. <laughs> I can see Ray's bike's got a bit of a hitchhiker there, a bit of a branch. Not a branch, it's a stick. So we came across a, we eventually got onto this track. So, oh, what time is it? Uh, 5.18. So the sun will start going down real quick now. This should bring us out to a main track. 
Beautiful. All right, what we might do is we'll uh, stop and work out the best way to get back to camp. Rightio guys, so we're not going to make it back to camp before dark, which I think just adds to the adventure. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got to head that way now. So I'm kind of just, we're, we're bumming our way along, we're not... Yeah. We're taking yeah. the adventurous, uh, you know, scenic route. Yeah, yeah, that's it, exactly. Like all this time yeah. So, hopefully we don't see too many bloody roos on the way in. I think they're pretty good, we're not going no. that fast either, so... It's been alright. Yeah. There's a GS going, Ray. Yeah, alright, Mark, yeah. Not bad in here. Hey? It's no. not, not bad on these tracks. No, that's right, yeah. I'm trying to find um, your camp. Oh, look for the big green area. To Just there then. Hey? Just there then. It's all green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's camera. Yeah, so we are there. And we're, our camp's right there, I reckon. Right in that little spot there, I think. Where's the dam, though? Well, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to pick it up on here. Yeah, to show you the dam. Got it? Yeah, it's showing you two dams just back there. Well, maybe that's, maybe that's the spot. Maybe that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the bloody track. Rightio guys, this is why you don't ride at night time, is that right, Steve? Well apparently so mate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, foot trapped under the bike. Carnage. Yep. Tenere 690. Yeah. 690, Tenere 6, 660. 660. Oh, fuck. So yeah, he's uh, yeah, there's a there's a nasty little spot there. Pretty sure it's not broken. Yeah, I was I was the lucky one I I missed him just. <laughs> oh <laughs> right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll get this bike up, and uh, don't you don't you do uh, anything, no, no, no. <laughs> Steve? Just just you're right. Rightio, guys. So what we're going to do now is just putter. We'll make our way back to camp, find our bloody way, hopefully. Um, we'll just take it easy because uh, Steve's obviously hurt his foot. He doesn't think he's broken it because he can put weight on it, but uh, obviously as you walk around and stretch it, it's most probably done ligaments. So we've got all the time in the world. So uh, we will just mosey along like this. I don't mind traveling like this, is pretty cool actually get a bit cooler uh, just uh, plot along right eh? we'll see you back at camp guys uh, uh, right eh? if you can hear the guys laughing in the fucking background it's because I didn't bloody press record and I went through this whole bullshit so I'm gonna do it again all right so we've made it back to camp We've got the bloody fire going and roaring. Crack tape and a jimmy. Poor old bloody, everybody made it back safe and sound. Obviously, uh, Steve's a little bit sore. I'm just writing the medicine cabinet. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Like Couple it. of Panadol and that. What do you got? Uh, it's actually, uh, it's Jim nope. Beam in a southern, in a, uh, in oh, really? a, in a wild turkey bottle that I've repurposed. Ah, excellent. Jim Beam black label, actually. Sweet. What are you eating tonight? I'm eating steak, mate. Steak? Steak cooked on the fire. Brilliant. Oh, because you're, you're grilling it, aren't you? I'm grilling on some of those coals. Yeah, that'll be yeah. good to see, actually. Good. Gordon's good. doing uh, soup uh, right. in a tin. Soup, soup and Jimmy. That's it, the staple. Yep. Mixed you're, grill. And you've got Kranskis. Yeah, mixed grill, may as well say. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that fire's doing all right, isn't it? Beautiful. Beauty. Righto, guys, so I've got steak too, so we'll see you a bit later. Right here, guys, so it's time to bloody uh, get this steak going. There it is in there. Now, apparently, Nay said I'm supposed to be cooking the onions first because they take a little bit longer. You can't see what I'm... Can you see what I'm bloody doing? Put my steak down there. So the steak... Oh, we've got some light. There you go. Let there be light. What the... Jesus, look at that. Hang on. Oh, buddy. 
Oh, there you go. Whack that on some coals. So this steak was, uh, basically I put the steak in a container and poured a can of coke in it with the onion, cut up the onions, put it in, and it just left it overnight. And Nay's done this before, and it just makes this steak as tender as tender and juicy. It's a scotch fillet. So I'll cook these bloody onions up for a bit. Whack the steak in, and we should be right. So it's gonna be a bit of a cook off with um, Steve. Oh. Yeah, I haven't got coke on my steak, man. No, but he's got some uh, special. He's got some special. Uh, got the special bloody. Special uh, secret eleven herbs and spices is on mine. Hey, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and Steve's going to be grilling it. Go, I'm going to yeah, grill. So I'm, I'm yeah. pretty interested to see how that goes. Looking good. Sounding good. Yeah. So we'll uh, come back to you when we're cooking a little bit further on. Come on, are you ready to put this steak on? Let's put it on now. Oh, there we yeah. go, look at that. Beautiful. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> right, can of uh, potatoes, whole potatoes. The idea of this <laughs> is to cut them up as if they're like bloody chips. And then we're going to fry them. And hopefully I'll end up with some chips. But I don't know how well that's going to work out. I think you've been a bit optimistic. But a bit up, but all right, okay. Challenge accepted. Mashed potato, potentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this might take me a while. Hang on. Oh, yeah, it looks like the onions are doing all right. And to the side. So now the object, oh man that bloody. needs really long tongs at this point. Yeah. We'll try and fry them up so they're a bit like chips, but I'm not hopeful. We might just end up with crispy potatoes, which won't be a bad thing. And then I've got uh oh, where are we? We've got some eggs, which I'll uh fry up once the once the meat's done. We'll fry these up and just stick it on top. I didn't bring any, do you got any tomato sauce? No, mate. Oh, I forgot to bring no. the tomato sauce, but that's all right. Cool. Oh, hang on, we got, someone got tomato sauce? Yeah. Yeah, ah, we right. might have some tomato sauce. Righto, update, Steve's bloody uh, steak is looking the part. It's, it's looking, looking good. good. It's not making as good a sound as what yours is, no, but it's, no, it's still but... cooking nicely. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Looking real good. Char grill. Yeah, and that's and that's that's the trick, isn't it? This bloody uh, yeah. using the um, straight on the coals. Yeah, on the coals, not yeah. trying to bloody do it on the on the flame. There we go. I don't know where Ray is. He's getting the tomato sauce, I hope. Is he? Got to get his crankskis or whatever he's got out. He's got crankskis, yeah. So Steve, steak's done. Look at that. What do you reckon? That That's is pretty good, isn't it? That is. It looks pretty bloody good, actually. I must oh, admit. Right. It'll still be pretty rare in the middle, I think. Yeah. Which is how, how we like it. Nice and soft. All right, well, I've just worked out that uh, <laughs> Ray's been a bit of a uh, a snob, cook snob. He's cooking over here. I can only need a taxi to get to you. Yeah, not wrong. <clears throat> oh, look at this. You've got the... So you've got what the uh, jet boil, isn't it? Yeah, it's a jet boil. One of your um, mats. Yeah, brilliant. And Cedar Summit frying pan and kettle and all the rest of it, all yeah. lightweight. Oh, I just love the smell of onions, eh? It's just... you got to have sugar on them, Mark. Do you put sugar? Sugar, mate, makes them go sweet. Oh, and, never, and I've they never caramelize. Done that. Yeah. Well, oh, bugger that, mate. <laughs> yeah, cool. It'll be um, quite nice when it's all put together. Yep, so where's the Kranskis? Uh, I'm in here. Oh, yeah. Just cheese and... Oh, yeah, and you've got your bacon. Yeah, cheese. bacon and cheese, tomato sauce, butter, buns. Brilliant. See? 
Ah. I probably should get them in there actually. <laughs> Don't worry about that, it's look like, looks like a dog's breakfast in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Look at that. They don't take much to cook. Yeah. But that onion will go real sweet and goes caramelised with the sugar on it. So, yeah. Yeah. So try it at home, Mark, yeah, or whatever. Give it, a, give it a shot, that's for sure. All right. Back over at the fire. Yeah, don't blame you. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, mate. Oh, that's it. You're straight into it. Oh, look at it. It's fucking delicious. Just the steak. Have you got anything else to go with the steak? Yeah, I've got Jack Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you need, mate? <laughs> cool. Oh, geez, it's nice. Something about the uh, smoky charred flavour, I think. Yeah, that's uh, it. It all adds to it, doesn't it? Beautiful. A bit, bit cook more cooked than I would like, but... Oh, so it's not raw in the middle? No. Nah. I, oh, yeah. I normally have it nice, you know, medium rare. Yeah. But uh, still, it's delicious. Cool. Right, yeah, and now for the steak to go in. Those are the right sounds. Yeah. There we go, guys. So, start cooking away on the steak. Rightio guys, so I reckon the uh, the steak's looking pretty bloody good, even the potatoes, the onions, so I'm going to dish all this out onto my plate. Just like that. A few chunky pieces in there. Oh Jesus, I just dug that into the dirt. Extra flavour. Camaruka dirt. Alright, so now get me eggs. Oh jeez, I'll have that all over me bloody motorcycle gloves. How's that? They're not even scrambled. No, they're not, are they? There you go, look at that. Chuck look that the over thing. there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we'll just cook them up, chuck that on there. Got a cherry tomato left over from lunch. We'll just chop him into there. I shouldn't be doing this in my gloves, guys, but it'll make me stick to the handlebars better tomorrow morning. Yeah, a few more hot coals over here. Get that cooking up. Try and burn off the snot. Yep. I've brought my Himalayan down Richmond where you are. Oh, yeah, just down the road. Midlife Cycles. Yeah, it's just the corner. Right, eh? Chuck that in there. Look at that. I'm calling that a done deal. There we go, Ray. Hey, pretty good, Mark. That's that's sweet looking. That looks bloody good. They even give the offside a one. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, beauty. Sweet. <laughs> Righto guys, so there it is. That is the, we'll call that the enchilada. Doesn't sound right. Yeah. That is the shit, man. The shit? Yeah. Here, have some of this on you. Oh, I've got heaps over here, man. Yeah, all right, we'll miss out then. Yeah. The egg's good. The chip roast potatoes are pretty good. <laughs> are they, are they chips or roast potatoes? Yeah. <laughs> God, look at me shaking. But, let's give the old steak a go. That's the main, main event. Yeah. Look at that, cooked bloody to perfection. Oh. Don't mind my shaking. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Oh, hang on, you've got to see my face. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn this off. Mate, that is that is that's pretty good. I'm impressed with that. The coke works, does it? That it, it does, yeah. I mean, no, he's under something there. She is, definitely. So, guys, um, if you get a steak, put, get a like a plastic container, pour a whole heap of coke in there. If you like onions, cut up an onion, stick it in there, stick it in the fridge. You can do it for a couple of hours because Nay will, if she's forgotten to do it, she'll do that, and it still works out great. But you can do it overnight. 
You can do it for a couple of days, I suppose, to get in the fridge and then cook it up. It just, just makes it tender. And um, the taste, I don't know whether the cake the cake adds a taste to it. Is it? It's not sweet then? It is sweet. It is, is yeah. Yeah, so it would, yeah, the sweet would add to it's it. It's caramelising, is it? Mmm. The, all the sugar. Mm. The Mate, cake actually would... breaks down the enzymes into meat. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah. 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 Would so. That's pretty technical for our I reckon. That's the best meal I've had while out camping. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. Brilliant. It's the best meal we've had since lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck, you never had it on. I didn't have it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did you miss it. Right, eh? Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, same thing, I did a whole bloody spiel and it wasn't bloody recording. All right, so we've had our bloody tea. We're now, we've just finished doing a happy, happy hour. Happy hour. Happy yep, yep, yep. for uh, Man Cave Tuesday. So we're going to sit around here, do a bit more bloody uh, bullshit talking because it's flying left, right and centre. And uh, we will see you in the morning. Morning guys, all right, I don't know what time it is. I think it must be about 7.30 in the morning. Sun's Eight peak. Eight o'clock, oh, there you go. Ray's apparently awake now. <laughs> oh, I just had my coffee, got the fire up and uh, going again. Didn't take much, it was a nice, a big, uh, quite a big bloody coal base. Nice cup of coffee. How'd you sleep, Gordon? Good. It wasn't too bad overnight, it wasn't that cold. No. no. I couldn't have asked for a better night. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Beautiful. How'd you sleep, Ray? Oh, uh, like a log. Brilliant. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, mate, you could have a shower in the amount of dew that's on your tent. Yeah, hey, not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Righty, -o, so a bit of time for breakfast. Then it's uh, pack up and have a bit of a play around. Alright guys, I've got to show you this. This is Steve's little setup. So you had the bread buttered, the bloody cheese sitting on there, wrapped up in foil. Cooked the bacon. Just cooked the bacon. Now I got inspired how to how to carry oh, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you've watched any of Mark's videos recently, you'll you'll have seen him do this. It yeah. works. Were those eggs in there yesterday when you were laying on your side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's all intact. Beautiful. Oh yeah, Ray's going to give Max a bit of a run out to the road and back. I push the bridge bar. Ah. I think you've got too much technology for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the right, eh? There he goes, guys. So it'll be interesting to see his thoughts. So being a big bloke on the uh, on the DR, uh, it'll be interesting to see how the power is. Like for me, it's got more power than I can bloody handle. But you know, like we know, throwing a lot of bloody weight on a bike and it uh, zaps the power. All right. It's a nice seat. Yeah. Uh, very, very light compared to me being like, oh. look, it's a toy, mate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It That's really it. really is. So what's the honest opinion? Because just so the guys know, I mean, you're going to give me your honest bloody opinion anyway. 
Um, but, nice to ride. You've done alright with your suspension. Your suspension's not too bad. Yeah. Um, for a DR. <laughs> Power-wise, like, you could probably use more. Yeah. I reckon. Like, and that's because of your, that's your yeah, weight, mate, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. Um, it's a good bike. Really are. So is it, are you now turned off getting a DR or? Um, I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't know. I thought I'd have a ride. Yeah. Um, I've never rode a 690 either. I'm back to this KDM thing again. Yeah, and yeah. You know how it is. Yep. I'm not hanging shit on them or love them. I had a, a few of them. I had fucking five or six of them. But yeah. <laughs> um, reliability. That's that's the key thing with it, isn't you it? You know, you can go somewhere like this. You can pull up. Um, as long as you know how to start it. Yeah. And you can hit the button and away you go, you know? Yeah. And that's... It's brilliant. Yeah. It really is. guys so we are ready to take off we're all packed up fire has been uh, put out cleaned up <laughs> yeah, there's a great little bloody uh, little camp spot had nobody else out here hey uh, Steve's got his uh... holy Jesus what's he doing <laughs> crazy bastard so Steve's still got his, uh, obviously his sore ankle. It was a bit uh, swollen, the foot's swollen, and um, he's got bruising around the back of his heel. So he'll just take it easy coming out. You all right? Buddy right. Gordon's done really well on the Himalayan. So you were saying that it was like 15 years since um, since he'd been back on the dirt, and uh, he's done really, really bloody well on the on the Himalayan, and you know, being that long since getting on the bloody dirt tracks, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have thought it. Righty-o, so that's uh, Kamaruka State Forest, just north of uh, Bendigo, about 20 k's. <clears throat> it's the old uh, Yuki, the old Yuki um, distillery. There's actually two out here, one on the other side of um, the road and down a little bit closer to uh, Bendigo. I don't know, friggin' a K it all would be. Uh, they've got, the only thing out there though is the, uh, the pipe. those guys go but I won't I won't um, I'll stay behind <coughs> hang on hang on a minute guys you I'm staying behind you until you get out yeah no always uh, anybody's bloody uh, either struggling or they're injured Never leave the bastards behind, and you never put them. You always have a good rider. <laughs> Not saying that I'm a freaking good rider, but you know what I mean. Because the problem that he's like while he's riding, he's, he's not a problem. But you know, you can't just freaking dab your bloody foot down. 
just go A over T. All right, guys, I'll stop bloody bullshitting on. It was a really good ride. And, uh, of course, you know, the, the riding's good, the company's good, the bloody bullshit flying around uh, the campfire and, yeah, brilliant. All right, remember, guys, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.